Okay, as long as you guys can hear me, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And then we're going to, um, if y'all have any questions, feel free to unmute your phones. But I just want to be able to let other people hear so there's no distractions in the background. So Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> I'm so excited. I had to do a call today. Well, I wanted to do the Zoom today just to touch bases with you all. Um, just so we could just uh, go over uh, some things that we're going to be putting in place for the new year. Um, I do want to say that I have something planned for us tomorrow, not on Tuesday night. I'm going to have a special guest on our training call tomorrow. And it's not going to be necessarily a training, although you may take away some tips from the call, but it's more of a motivational type uh, call for you guys just to get us pumped up and inspired and motivated for 2017. That guest is going to be Marvette Hancock. She was actually the third uh, African-American ambassador in the company. Um, so I think it would be great for you guys to hear from her. She had a lot of, um, uh, I'm not going to say issues or anything like that, but she had some obstacles that, um, that she had to get over, you know, in 2016. And she'll tell you her story. I don't want to spoil it for, but spoil it for you guys. But um, you know, she's top money earner, ambassador diamond in nine months, same thing like me. Um, worked real hard, but she had some things come up. She got pregnant. She went through postpartum depression. Um, her business started to decline. She lost her title, you know, but she was able to build back up and um, push forward. So I just want to. She said you want to I just want to get her on the line because I think this is something that a lot of you all need to hear. You know, uh, 2016 was great um, for some of us. I'm not going to speak for everybody, but. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people have like personal problems and personal issues or things that just come up um, in your life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, things happen, your business starts to fall apart, you lose people, you lose customers and you get discouraged. And that's, that's normal. So I just want you all to hear from somebody um, and you're going to be able to ask questions and all that good stuff. Um, and then I'm going to be on there too. You know, for those who haven't heard my story, I'm just going to talk about, you know, things that I had to get over. <laughs> When I first came into the business, I mean, everybody always hear the good stuff, but I want you all to hear the real raw <laughs> and dirty stuff, things that we really went through that you all really need to hear. So you can be like, oh, they're normal. They're just like us. They all, it hasn't always been peachy for them. You know what I'm saying? So you all need to hear the real deal. So that's going to be on Tuesday at 830. So put that on your calendar. I'm going to put the information in the group tomorrow. And I really want you guys to really focus on what your goals are going to be for 2017. So whatever didn't work for you in 2016, break that stuff down and compare and start focusing on something that's going to work for 2007, for this new year. I really want you all to start um, uh, like reading more, you know, getting all the books. Like me, I'm going to tell you, I wrote down a lot of things that I'm really going to start doing. I'm not going to be chasing after people. <laughs> this is it. 2017, if you're not with me, I'm letting you go. There's no more texting and saying to get your two more customers. Somebody got to mute their phone. Mute the phone. If, you on call, if you're on the call and not on Zoom, if you're on the phone, mute your phones, please. Thank you. If you're, um, I'm not calling anybody and saying, get on this call anymore. I just did it a few minutes ago, but I'm done. This is it. I'm telling everybody right now, and I'm recording this right now so they can hear it if they didn't get on. I'm not texting no more saying that you get four loyal customers, two loyal customers. Make sure you run your auto ship. Make sure you plan a party. It's over. Okay? This is four years for me in the business. I'm not holding anybody else's hands. I always make myself available. If you all, if you need anything, you know how to reach me. You know, I so say everybody has my phone number or my email. You know, so all the hand holding and pressing you guys out to work your business, that's over. Because I feel that everybody who's on this Zoom and everybody who joined in this business are independent business owners. This is your business. So as long as we provide the training and the resources, all the tools that you need to run your business, you should be fine. Don't overcomplicate anything. Don't think more of what you, you know, to, it's, it, this is business. It's not as hard as you think it is. 
you know, all you're doing is following the steps to success, those three steps, you know, and then we're talking about doing rap, rap parties and, you know, and we add other little things in there, but it's, it's easy and it's a simple business. So it's not like we have to stay on you all the time. You know what I'm saying? With all the training that we offer, making sure you get on Vanessa's calls, her Q&As on Monday afternoon, my Wednesday, my Tuesday night trainings, her Wednesday night trainings, the corporate call information, all that stuff, that's a lot. So if you're not getting anything out of that, I don't know what else to do. We can't, I, can't, I can't get on the phone and call and talk to you all day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll take a phone call if you have questions or you have concerns or anything like that. I'm, I'm available. I'm going to make myself available. But I can't hold your hand through the entire business because nobody held my hand. Nobody. <laughs> I ain't get one customer from nobody in my upline. Okay, I had to build my own business by myself. And that's something that you all, you all have to start thinking like diamond leaders. Okay, if you're in that group, Ruby, uh, distributed to diamond, then this is what I expect from you guys. You all have to start, you know, standing up, running your business, and thinking like a diamond, diamond or above. Some people say, I want to think like an ambassador. That's fine. But we have to start really pushing ourselves and um, doing a lot more in 2017. If 2016 was a blur for you, nothing happened. No customers, no distributors, no team building, no nothing then you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta change things up. You can't come into 2017 with the same thing. You can't. Who wants to do that? Okay, how do you expect to move up and be successful in this business if you're doing the same thing every single year? Okay, I, was, I had a conversation with Sandra and uh, another team member not too long ago. And I said, now what if, what if I came into the business in 2012? And I only worked with the people who started with me in 2012. And I didn't recruit. I stopped doing the steps to success. And I just said, okay, even though this person is not working, I'm going to just drag them along. And I'm just going to hope and shake it and keep calling them and hoping that they'll do something and hoping that they'll work. Where do you think I will be? You think I'll be an ambassador, Diamond? You think I'll be a top money earner? <laughs> do you think I'll even be in the millionaires club? <laughs> No, guess what? Because those people who stopped working and was not interested in doing the business no more, I didn't delete them out of the group or anything, but I just said, you know what? When they're ready, they'll ready. They'll be ready. They'll call me when they're ready if they need help. But I have to keep recruiting and building my business. I have to keep pushing. You know, I can't stop. I'm doing this for my family. So I'm not going to just sit here and just wait for people to start working. If they're not going to go with me, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to Zoom. I'm ready to rock 2017 out. So if you're not ready to do that, and I can see right now who's on this Zoom that's not ready, then I, I can't do anything. I'm drained. I, I, I can't, <laughs> I physically can't just keep pressing people's buttons trying to make them work. It's, it's too draining, and I'm not doing that this year. 2017, you guys got to do the same thing. If you got team members and they, they, they're not doing anything, they're not showing that they want it, they're not calling you and saying, can you help me? Or, you know, I need help with something. And you just, and you call them and they don't answer the phone, all that stuff. They're not getting on training calls or they're not plugging in or they're not uh, being active in the group. What you going to do? Are you going to just keep trying to drag them along and you're going to sit at executive forever or a distributor forever? Or you're going to pull those steps to success out and you're going to recruit. Get your customers, get your distributors, teach them to do the same thing. Everybody's going to pull their weight. Because if you don't go, if they don't go anywhere and do anything, you're not going anywhere. It is what it is. That's network marketing. Okay? So you think about it. You got to make the choice on what you're going to do for 2017. So like I was saying, I want everybody to start doing more self-development. Reading more books. I'm going to do leadership books. Okay. I had uh, a couple of books that I got from some of my top leaders. Have you ever heard of Switch on Your Brain by Carolyn Leaf? Switch on Your Brain. That's one um, that uh, Elena suggested. The Greatest Salesman in the World. Joe Dunn, top number one, number one money earner suggested that. The name, the person is O.G. Mandino. 
Um, and then the compound effect is another one. Unmute your phone, JoJo. Unmute your phone. <laughs> I got the compound effect. I'm reading that one right now. How, how is it so far? It is excellent. Okay, so make sure y'all get that. Do they have it in audio? Yeah, they do. Okay. So the and then they got so good. The um the new Steve Harvey jump one is good. Jump one. Jump. It's just jump by oh, Steve jump. Harvey. By Steve Harvey. And it's another one. I can't think of who to offer because I'm not at home. But it's how to um. Influence people and friends. Okay. Anybody else got any other books that you have read, read that you can um, suggest to the team? You got to unmute your phone. The Bible. The Bible, that's perfect. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Any other self development books? Okay. Oh, I'm reading The Power of Growth. That was a good one. I'm actually, it's an audio book. Power and of it's Growth. Basically, The Power of Growth. It's the guy that did that show uh, with all the business. Uh, Shark Tank. You said it's by who? It's the man who did the show Shark Tank. That's a show about oh, business owners. I know you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Damon. That's a good book. Yeah. And it's, all, it's on audio. His name is uh, Damon John. Yeah. Damon, yeah. Oh, I know that's gonna be good. Okay. Yeah, that's a good book. Um, audio. This is a good one too. Kind of the business of the twenty first century. Uh-oh. And I have this one reading. Mm-hmm. This is Always. what's the name of that one, Nicole? This is "Lead to Succeed" by Rick Pitino. Ten okay. traits of a great leadership in business and life. That's is that on audio too, or it's just a book? This might be an audio, but this book I've had for a little bit. Actually, my husband's had for a little while. So I to see this on audio. Okay, okay perfect. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. So that's good. So definitely start reading more books for self development. Um, what I have been doing now, I've started um, creating a newsletter for my customers. So this could be something that you guys can start working on um, for your customers. And what you can put in there is any new products um, that you recommend for your for your customers, any new products that come out, any bogos or any specials that we come out with that goes into your newsletter. You can show customer um, before and after pictures results just so they can see um, recipes for any of our. Uh, can you mute your, mute your phones, y'all? If, mute your phones out if you're not talking. Thank you. Any recipes for any products, I will put that in the newsletter. Um, and anything else that you can think of that will, um, oh, you could do challenges for your, uh, for your customers. And of course, you want to reach out for referrals. So that's something that I'm now creating for 2017. I'm going to start doing some newsletters for my customers. And this is just to keep interaction with them for loyal customer retention. Of course, we want all of our customers to stay with us because that's how we get paid. So I'm just trying to think of creative ways to um, stay in contact with my customers. Um, So I've been working on that. So you want to make sure that you follow up with your customers. If you're not going to do a newsletter, just try to do some thank you cards or um, some weekly check-ins. Like you could do a calendar or something and just keep up with your check-in with your customers because you want to make sure that the products are working well for them. Um, and if they're not working, you want to make sure that you suggest it, make sure they know they're aware of their perk points. Um, you know, see if they want to host a party and then see if they're interested in making some additional income. Like now, the 2016 people, they may be ready to jump on board. Because you know, they, the business is about to start really, really picking up for us. The New Year's resolution people are right about to start calling you guys. You know, we're about to jump into conference now. So there's so much that's coming up in this company with this business. You may want to really start reaching out to those old potentials that you talked to in 2016. So follow up with them. Make sure that you guys are also sending um, the YouTube videos that we do on Tuesdays. We were doing potential. We were doing uh, customer um, calls 
on Tuesdays, and we were also doing um, business opportunity. The one that we just recently had was with me, Valerie, and Andrea Swanson. And we talked a lot about the products that we use. Um, me, as a person who likes to work out constantly, um, I know Andrea is a fitness instructor. So she talked about a lot of products that she recommends to her clients. And then we had um, Valerie, who is a hairstylist. And she talked about a lot of products that she recommends to her clients and products that she used. But we also talked about the business opportunity portion of it too, because we talked about why we wanted to join and we shared our story. So that was a really good video. So those videos that we do on Tuesdays, those live Zooms, we download those to YouTube and I put it into the group. So those are for you guys to put your people on. And if they happen to miss it or you miss it, make sure that you send it out. You can send those YouTube video out, videos out to your customers or your potential distributors. All the stuff that we're doing, we're doing this for you guys. I mean, we're doing it for us too, because I put people on there too. But we're really doing we came up, we came up with this process because we figured that some people don't know how to explain the opportunity. Some people don't know what to say. They're saying too much or they're not saying enough. Okay, because people are calling and saying, Well, I can't get a distributor, or I'm struggling getting distributors, or I can't get a loyal customer. So this is something Ronessa wanted all the leaders to pitch in on a 10 o'clock on a Tuesday night so that we can help you guys grow. We can help your business grow. So you got to make sure that you take advantage of these calls. You don't have to necessarily sit on those because we really don't want you on there because we want to leave it open for the potential customers and distributors. But send that information out. We had like 60 some people on our call last Tuesday on our Zoom, which was really good for a Tuesday right before what, it's, you know, during the holidays. So that was a really good turnout, but y'all got to make sure that y'all use these resources and these tools and get these people on these calls and then send it out. You can email it out. You can text it out, whatever you want to do, but let them get that information because if you don't have any distributors or customers, then you need help and we're here to help you and we're doing this to help you guys. So send that information out there, don't they, every Tuesday night. Actually, I'm going to put the next Tuesday call because there's another one coming up uh, this Tuesday. I think it's a business opportunity one. Uh, I'm not sure who's doing that one, but I'll put the information in Rap Nation tomorrow. Um, like I said, make sure that you're completing your steps to success. Print that sheet out today. Today is the first of the month. You should be printing your sheet out every first of the month. Really take it seriously. Really dive in and go for it. Okay, try your hardest to get these steps completed. I already got one customer. <laughs> so I'm ahead of the game. Who else got a customer? You already got a customer? Okay, good for you. And then going back to the rap parties. Another thing, I know Nicole probably just walked away, but Nicole has started doing her live videos. And it was a really great video. So this is something that you all can start doing. I know a lot of people are shy. I don't like doing live videos, but this is 2017 and we're going to take it up a notch this year. So now we're going to start doing so much more than what we did in 2016 because it's time. It's time for us to start really moving up in this business. Okay. Diamonds. That's what I'm looking for. New diamonds in this business, new diamonds on this team. So you got to think like one. So the live video that you did, Nicole, today, can you give them some information or some tips on um, what you had to do to start getting your, uh, or what you did today as far as your live video? Okay. Um, so I decided on yesterday that I was going to do a live video. So one thing I learned yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw um, Ronnie's training um, that she did yesterday, but she talked about if you're going to go live and you want to talk about your business, then announce it. You know, so many people go live and they just kind of say, okay, I'm going to wait for a few people to get on. So I decided to go ahead and do like a little quick picture. I think I, it was like my Christmas photo. I went on work so I can say I'm going to go live at 3 o'clock on Facebook about um, changing your life. I think I put New Year, New You or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to just, you know, talk about the products, talk about the business opportunity. Um, and I did it today at 3 o'clock because I figured people were at home. I kind of went on my patio. I started off talking about how I actually um, joined the business, how I was following the rain on Instagram, how I was using the products. And it went really well. I actually signed, I'm um, going to sign a lawyer customer. I think she's going to sign up in about uh, two days. 
Um, I have three potential distributors. So it's just a great opportunity for people just to hear about the business opportunity. Right. Just kind of find out for me because I can do the business part time, um, why I do the business and how I do the business part time with family, a wife, and kids. So it went really well. And you're going to start doing them more often? Exactly. And I'm going to also encourage my team members to do it because I know sometimes it's a little nerving because you don't know right. if you're going to mess up. And it's okay. You know, I had like a little um, um, guideline of what I wanted to talk about. Um, I had my little banner up, but it doesn't have to be over complicated. Right. And it's okay. You know, if you need your product catalog while you're doing the um, Zoom, it's fine. Um, you can ask people to, you know, chime in if they have questions about the products. You look at your catalog and answer the questions. It's super easy. Don't overthink it. And just do it at your leisure. You know, don't make it super hard. It's really, and it's free. And that's what I like about it. It's free. And you could do it without even thinking about it. And then people can watch the replay because it's a live Facebook video uh, at their leisure time. So yeah. that's another good thing too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that worked out well. Good. So this is something that you all may want to start doing. I know, uh, uh, not Lonnie, um, Cheryl and I was talking about business pages. I'm not sure if you all have a business page separate from your personal page on Facebook or Instagram, but I was telling her, she asked me what was my uh, suggestion on it. I have a business page, Jamie and Raina Tyler, and then I have my Raina Tyler personal page. Then I got a Jamie and Raina on Instagram, then I have my personal page and he has his. But I think it's, it's, it's a little too much for me to keep up with all those pages, and we have Twitter. Um, but what works for us is that my husband manages our business page. Because I was like, I can't do all this. I, I started doing it, and I was like, no, I can't do it. So because he loves to be on social media, I said, well, put your little self together, <laughs> and you can go ahead and run our business pages. And it works for us because we get a lot of inquiries on our business page versus my personal. Believe it or not. So I don't know if this is something that you all want to do. Um, that's if you want to try to keep up with both pages. Um, on our business page, of course, we're not putting too much personal information on it like we do with our personal page. We're per pretty much doing, um, uh, you know, join, you go Ruby, $500 bonus. Um, we do share a little bit of like family stuff just so people can know who we are. People would love to know, who, who are you guys? So I would like to see that they see like the family and the traveling, but not as much as we would put on our personal page. Um, any uh, uh, BOGO or anything that the company put out as far as announcements and stuff, that goes on my business page. Um, my videos, anything I'm doing with my team, my trainings and things like that, that goes on my business page so people can see that I'm really involved with my team passionate about my business and things like that. And that's what they see and then they inquire about the business. Hey, your team, you know, you're really involved with your team. Or hey, you're real passionate about your business. I would love to join you guys. How much did it talk? So people inbox us all day on that business page. So if that's something that you want to do, 2017, we're making changes. So add that to it if you want to do that. Like I said, it does work for us. But that's if you want to, you know, if you have time to run all those pages. Uh, by yourself like I said my husband does it because it was just too much for me going back to the weekly parties I know a lot of people stopped doing it uh, as we got closer to the end of the year um, so 2017 I was telling people earlier in December to start getting your parties on the books for 2017 so a lot of my new my team members in the group were saying yeah I got stuff for January I got stuff for February you know so start getting those parties back up start doing your weekly parties um, I know something that me and Ronessa and the other top leads were thinking about doing was doing uh, monthly one team, one missions. Because I know we only had like two in 2016 in DC. So we are thinking about doing once a month or we're going to do them every other month. And I think this will be good because everybody can start bringing their guests and we can all get together. They can share, we can share stories and we can try to lock these distributors in for you guys. Because I think the one we had last week was very successful. It was a really good one team, one mission. And a lot of you guys came out, which was really good. Uh, I was happy to see you all. Uh, some of you all had guests. 
And I know it was a, you know, you all were able to sign some people up on the spot. So I think this will be really, really good for us if we start doing them at least once a month or once every other month. So that's going to be coming up for 2017. I think we're also going to start doing weekly rap parties. Uh, I know we had started doing sample parties like in the summertime. Ronessa had put something together where the leaders were getting together and we were doing sample parties and you guys were able to invite your guests. So I think this is something that we're going to start back doing. So if you all are, uh, you know, like, oh, I don't have a venue or I don't want people coming to my house or no one's going to host it for me or I'm scared to host it, I don't know what to say. All those excuses about to go out the door, out the window. Because if we do it and we host it and we tell you to bring your guests and we do the business opportunity portion of it and, you know, you get involved some type of way, but you don't have to feel like you're hosting the entire thing, I think this will be good. And then you can also learn from it too, okay? Because like I said, a lot of people, they just don't know what to do. So we're here. We're going to step in and make sure that we show those who don't know what direction to go in or don't know what to say or don't want to know what to do and learn from us. So we're going to really start uh, diving into the trenches with the team and, to, and doing more things so you all can see um, how the parties and how the opportunity and everything's supposed to go. Make sure that you go into all the trainings. If we have any in-person trainers, I expect everybody to be there. I had dinner with Cami Dempsey last week, and she's saying that when she, once you go diamond, she expects her diamond leaders to be present at everything unless they're out of town. She said she don't take no excuses. She said if you're a diamond and above and they're having in-person trainings or in-person rap parties or in-person whatever, she expects them to be there and no excuses. So we were like, well, shoot, we be letting people do whatever. You know, we don't expect anything from anybody because we thinking if you're really involved in your business or you're passionate about your business or you're trying to succeed in this business, then you're going to go ahead and do what's expected. So we shouldn't have to tell people, oh, I expect you to be there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she was saying, look, I tell them they got to be there. They have to represent. If you're a diamond lady, you got to think like a diamond. If you're trying to go triple, you need to be there. If you're trying to go in bats, you need to be present. You need to take it all now. You need to be present for your team. So. We're going to start doing that, just so you know. Um, and the train, like I said, you just got to be at these trainings. So please don't miss any trainings. Make sure that you're on all training calls. Um, and make sure that your team is getting the information to get on these calls. As you can see, I closed two groups down. So if your team members are in there, there's a reason why. <laughs> um, I ask that you all put the people who are working, who are active, in that group so if some people are missing hey <laughs> i don't have any control over that i put the people that i know that's working and you all add whoever you want to do we'll add those people in there as well i want to do a dream board party i know we did one last year um a lot of you all that are on the zoom right now i don't even think you were in the business when we did our last dream board party but I got to put something in place. I think that would be very good um, as far as team bonding um, and just putting our dream board and everything for 2017 since it's still early in the year. I think this would be really good for us. Um, so I will come up with a date and a location and put it in a group. Um, I'm going to be doing a live opportunity, uh, Facebook Live business opportunity video on Tuesday at 9.30 with Marvette. So after we do the training call, we're going to do a live Facebook uh, opportunity call video. So you can put all of, the, all of your, um, make sure that you get your potentials on there so they can see it. I'm trying to see what else I had on here. My phone just keep dinging and dinging and dinging. Uh, I think that is all that I had. Do you all have any questions or any suggestions or anything? Um, you can unmute your phone so everybody can talk. Unmute your phones. Any questions or concerns or anything that you have questions about coming up 
2017. Are you guys going to conference? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. If you haven't gotten your ticket, please get it. They're still available. Conference is amazing. You got to be there. It will definitely take your business to the next level. It did for me. Um, it's going to be 20,000 plus distributors. And we have uh, rented out the uh, stadium in Tampa. So this is going to be really special because it's going to be a really, really big venue. Uh, and I'm excited about it. So if you haven't gotten your tickets, please get your tickets. Life-changing experience. Any questions? Any concerns? You guys excited? Yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. This is Tapreece. I have a question. Uh -huh. um, what is the group name? Because for some reason, ever since I joined the business, um, a, maybe several months ago, I don't get any notifications for Rap Nation or any of the special groups. Like I was on, in the Team Legacy uh -huh. group now but i don't like know like the call numbers like i was looking before this call trying to find it mm -hmm. and i get notifications for the millionaires academy but i rarely get anything for the rap nation so okay. as far as that you know well you won't get notifications unless someone tag you in the group so if someone tags you in the group in rap nation that's when you'll get a notification otherwise you just got to go in there and look for yourself do I go on the page or is yes. it like a special uh -uh. messenger group? Uh-uh. Rap Nation is on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. Yeah, I'm on the page. So, like, as far as the call, like, when you posted it, did you post it, like, a couple, like, last week maybe, or you recently posted on the main page? I posted it in the group me. It's not in Rap Nation because that's not, I didn't want everybody in Rap Nation on this call. Okay, so is it, like, am I able to have the group me information? Yeah, did you download the group? Do you have group me on your phone? Um, yeah, I can get it. Okay. Okay, uh, what, who's, uh, who's your leader? Lonnie. Okay, so Lonnie will make sure you're taken care of. Okay, yeah, because I felt, you know, it was something not coming together because okay. she would say, did I know about this? And I, I wouldn't know. So, okay, okay that's sure good. You have it downloaded, but she'll make sure you're straight so you can get on the next, um, so you'll have the information for the next call. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Any other questions, concerns? Everybody's good? Sandra, what? Sandra, you good? Yes, I'm great. Okay. So y'all pumped up and excited? Yes. Good. Somebody talking? I mean, I have a question. Uh-huh. You are. Um, this, this is Definitely. Ashley. Hello. Sorry. This is Ashley. I just wanted to know, as far as the um, 1C1 mission mm -hmm. um, event, plan on having are there gonna be are there gonna be any like um maybe like in jersey or like and i mean i know most of the team is like in dc and baltimore uh -huh. are we gonna be here yeah they are um actually our vips are planning them as we as we talk right now so they're going to be a lot of one team one mission spread it out in different states so when okay. i see something for your area because um, I know I have a lot of New York and Philly um, yeah. PA uh, distributors. I'll put it in Rap Nation, but there's definitely going to be a one team one mission in your area this year. I don't know when, but I do know there will be. Okay, I'll definitely keep an eye out. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions? Gail, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I've just been, um, I know that one of the things that I wanted to do more was do more personal development so that I could right. lead better. Right. Um, so I know that that's like the first step, but I guess just trying to make sure that, you know, continuing on from here that um, 
I'm able to keep my distributors more so engaged because yeah. it's kind of it's just difficult to I would do I would do these like I would set a date a time and a day every week and do a zoom and whoever jumps on jumps on don't get mad at the person if they don't jump on or if they're not working or if they're not running the auto ship it is what it is they're not ready okay so that's mm -hmm. why I said we have to continuously keep recruiting new people because everybody's not going to go with us you're heading straight to the top. You're doing exactly what you should be doing. You're having parties. You're posting on social media. You're moving forward. So everybody on your team is not ready. So get you know set your weekly zooms with your team so you can have a face to face interaction with them. Keep them close. See if they have any concerns, questions, problems, anything that's coming up. Sort it out. Give them some tips and information, and that's it. Because we're giving them. Like I said, Ronnes is doing a Q&A at lunchtime on Mondays, which is tomorrow. We got the Wednesday night. We got the Tuesday. And then on Sparks, we're doing other things, too. So they're getting enough information. Don't kill yourself, you know, thinking, oh, it's me as a leader. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not a great leader because they're not doing this. It's not you. You're doing what you're supposed to do. They're just not ready. You know what I'm saying? And it, it is not your fault. No, don't feel like, oh, because I get like that sometimes. So I feel like these people are not doing, you know, I, I, I recruit new people that ain't even on this call right now that I just recruited like two weeks ago. Don't answer the phone. Don't have no customers. Nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. And they paid $99 two weeks ago. It's only been two weeks in the business. And Sometimes I feel like, well, dang, what did I say? What did I do? Did I not do something? Did I do too much? Or did I put them on a call and it was a mess? You know what I'm saying? I just have all these thoughts in my head. But I'm thinking, it's not me. They just wasn't ready. Right. And you know what? They may be ready next month. They may be ready in March. <laughs> who knows? But I'm just going to keep working with those people who are ready to roll with me in 2017. If they want to jump on the Zoom, they jump on If they don't, they don't. Amen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to feel no certain type of way anymore. Those days are over. 2017, whole like, a whole nother ball game. I think like last year, I was, I was focused a lot on trying to chart, like really chart. So I would move a lot of customers or move distributors under people who would quit. So like this year, I'm like, okay, I'm not doing that because no. – I don't can't afford to keep, you know, I'm, I'm hustling all, all year long. I'm finally, like, my cousin signed up last night. I've been trying to recruit him all year, like, this whole, like, all 2016. And two hours before 2017 starts, he signs up. So I was like, okay, I'm keeping him. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I'm, right. I work hard for, you know, for that distributor. So right. um, I think that's where I'm, I'm at right now, right. just trying to make sure that people understand that we all have to hustle on our own. Everybody has to hustle. Everybody has to do it. Enough of building people who aren't ready for the leadership role. Mm. I'm not building any more rubies or any of that if they're not ready. You know what I'm saying? I Because I have a 2.0 account too, you know, so I'm still charting and building people. And I'm not doing it anymore because guess what? I'll build somebody just because I want to go double. I'm going to build a diamond who ain't even ready. Right. And then, you know, I'm still held responsible for the entire team when this person as a diamond that I helped get there is not acting as a leader. They're not responding to their team. They're not stepping in as a leader and taking control and giving them tips and resources or holding their own team training. They're not doing anything. And next thing you know, the whole team crumbles. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're finding yourself starting all over from scratch again. Mm -hmm. So you got to make some real great decisions this time. It's like, don't just be giving out customers to people. No more distributors to people. Everybody need to work. I hustle. Still hustling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't get here just because my smile and my good looks. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> I should be ambassador. Sergeant. <laughs> I should be an ambassador. <laughs> but we got to really hustle. Like I said, 2016, mm -hmm. things that you did that you thought that what you were doing right is not didn't work out for you. You're still not moving and not showing any progress. Something has to change. You don't want to be in 2017 still sitting where you are now. You can't do that, especially if you want your business to be successful. If you want to be successful, you got to make some major changes. 
Major changes. Any other questions? Concerns? Anything? Well, I'm excited. I'm excited about the call for Tuesday. Um, and all I could just say, you know, just keep, um, you know, just, just work with those who, who, who are willing to work with you. No more chasing after people. That's not happening anymore. It's going to drive you crazy. <laughs> so no more of that. Just keep recruiting. You know, do your live videos. Like Nicole said, if you're not ready for that, you know, get them on our calls. Get them on our live videos. When we pass the information down to you guys, we expect you to send that out to potentials and get them on these calls for you guys until you start building yourself up so you can do it on your own. All right, T. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all. If you all don't have any more questions, thank right, you for stopping on this uh, Zoom with me tonight. And again, like I said, for those that didn't hear me earlier, Happy New Year to everyone. And I look forward to what's uh, coming for 2017. I'm really excited. There's so much coming out with corporate, um, new products, new countries. I'm really, truly excited about conference. So hopefully I see most of you all there. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Elena. Happy New Year.